Tamara Mori Housley, and I am joined by the lovely and beautiful <laughs> co-stars of this amazing film, Lindy Greenwood and Crystal Joy Brown. Hi, gorgeous lady. Hello. Hello. <laughs> nice to see you guys. We are so excited for all of you to see our brand new movie, Girl Friendship. So today we have a couple of questions that Hallmark Channel sent our way that we will be answering. <laughs> All right, so let's get started, ladies. All right, first question is, in Girl Friendship, I play Samara and she, along with her lifelong friends, Eva, played by Crystal, and Renee, played by Lindy, are in need of a girl's trip. What prompts their impromptu vacation? Renee. <laughs> <laughs> Renee decides that they need to get together and celebrate each other and celebrate Samara. Yeah, yes. it's a birthday. Yeah. I mean, it, it's a uh, birthday isn't always a good excuse when you're really bad at taking care of yourself and giving yourself the true time yep. you need with your friends um, mm -hmm. to be like, wait, it's her, their birthday. We got to celebrate them. So a birthday is always a good reason to kidnap your best friends and go hang out. Absolutely. <laughs> and Samara's yeah. known to be a very, like, she's a workaholic. Um, and also there's this promotion that um, is going to be happening soon. And she definitely wants that position. Um, but what really gets her to go is um, the, the fact that she has kids and, and she's like, I want to go. Let's go. So I'm like, okay, we have to make this, this, this happen. And, uh, you know, she knows that she's going to have an amazing time with her girlfriends. And it's great to just put everything aside and turn up as she thinks they're going to do. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice answers. Should I read the next question? Yeah. Okay, cool. Edisto Island wasn't the vacation they had in mind, <clears throat> but it may be exactly what they need. Can we share more about the retreat our characters find themselves on? There's a lot of sage. <laughs> 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 where I think there was going to be a lot of Beyonce. Um, I think there was a lot of Sage instead. <laughs> and there's some hand-holding. There's some arts and crafts. Uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's a different. I think when you have that, uh, a, a totally different reality happen than what you're thinking, it's, like, first a shock to the system, and you have to, like, prepare yourself or change your whole narrative. So it takes a minute, you know? Yes, I remember at first we all just wanted, uh, you know, especially Samara, she just wanted to get up on out of there. <laughs> she was like, this is not, this is not what we, you know, expected this to be. We have to turn inward. What? What is this? The drums, the sage, uh, and, and mind you, none of the ladies were dressed for, for something like this. They had their heels, their really nice dresses. Um, yeah, we didn't pack Birkenstocks, that's for no. sure. No. <laughs> yeah, no, no shade, Lindy. <laughs> no, 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 no. A is, is, doesn't own Birkenstocks. Um, Absolutely not. And, you know, she was pretty pretty able to, to jump into this new retreat yeah. pretty quickly. I think partially out of guilt because it was her mistake. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, it turned out to be just what they needed, right? Absolutely. I think in the end, yeah, absolutely. I mean, even during it, kicking and screaming, <laughs> every single one of them needed it, you know, and sometimes that's what you need. You need life to just throw you a curveball so that you can actually sit and look at yourself and go, what is going on in my life? What do I need to address? What have I been hiding from? So, yeah, and there were also a lot of frogs. Um, I found a lot of frogs <laughs> in Edisto Island. Uh, I actually <laughs> gave... The yeah, no, I the bag that I the gift that I made at the end of the sh the, the movie, oh, yeah. and that I gave you there the little frog that's on that bag that I made is actually a frog from my porch that yes. was picture. underneath. Really yeah, so yeah. there was a lot of nature, and I live in New York City, so that it was a big. I love big frogs, <laughs> and I a single frog. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I saw one, Lindy. I saw one. <laughs> really? Yeah. They were well, everywhere. I shoot another one. Yep. Not <laughs> a frog. We don't have to shoot frogs. <laughs> 
So my character, Eva, is a mom who loves taking care of her kids and Samara proudly takes care of her mom and Renee joyfully takes amazing care of her salon customers. How does this retreat remind them to take care of themselves too? How does this retreat remind them to take care of themselves too? I think from um, Samara's perspective, for her, you know, she's taking care of her, her mother. And I feel like there are, you know, a lot of people that can relate to this, you know, where, where they're in a position where they're taking care of their family, they put their family first, um, and they neglect their needs. And just because, you know, um, you know, they, 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 they want to take care of them themselves and maybe move in a direction where their heart is calling them. It does not mean that you are selfish. You are, you know, um, a bad person in doing so. Sometimes in our lives, we're, we, we have to make some choices and it's okay to make a choice about self-care, especially when it involves your passion. It's okay not to neglect that side of of you and it's possible that you can do both yeah i definitely think that it's very easy to feel guilt mm -hmm. to take care of yourself but mm -hmm. you know just as i I've, I've been told many times by my therapist by my friends you put your mask on first and then mm -hmm. you like they say on the plane you know you have to put your mask on you can't take care of anyone else so as much as you think that you're taking care of other people super well you may not actually be if you haven't really taken care of yourself and your needs first so that you can actually be that reservoir for other people um and so i think it's like that is something especially as women we fall into that caretaker role just sometimes just naturally because yeah. it's put onto us by society and just that's what we're meant to do right we just take care and so so I think that this is um, a really beautiful moment to even, even, even going on a big trip where you're thinking, you know, you're going a while now, you're going to go crazy. Um, it's not really a reflective time. You know, it's not time to like sit and really like, once again, you're getting dolled up. You're going to try to like make yourself really fancy and beautiful and, and, and present for other people when you just are stripped down to your basic necessities and to your basic, like who you are. I think there's actually time to have that breakthrough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Beautifully said. I think Renee um, does take time for herself. She's the one that doesn't have a family to, to take care of, but she does, she's very maternal when it comes to her customers, her salon customers. I think for her, her journey is sort of about um, recognizing, she knows what she wants, but finding the courage within herself to speak that aloud. So I think uh, sometimes that's even what I struggle with as Lindy Greenwood sometimes being able to say, hey, no, I am, I'm capable of this. I am, I have the courage to go forward with this, even though it may be challenging. So um, that's kind of Renee's journey. Beautiful ladies. <laughs> um, these friends know how to encourage one another, whether it's pursuing a new romance or going after a new job. What do we love most about their friendship? Mm. I love that they're honest with each other. Yes. Like, no matter what. <laughs> I, I I remember when, you know, Renee, you, <laughs> you, you know, you, well, I don't want to give too much away. I know. Um, it's but, but, well, no uh, spoilers. <laughs> right? Renee and Eva, you know, they had a moment. And uh, we all had a moment. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what friends do. We have moments. Yes. So that it's like what doesn't break us make us makes us stronger. Yeah. That's what I kind of love. You the were honesty. able to be honest, though. You were able to be honest with your emotions, with your feelings, how you were feeling. Eva, you know, uh, well, Renee actually had an issue with me um, s seeing this, you know, guy. She wanted to make sure that he was legit. And uh, she didn't care she had to tell me the truth about it. And uh, you can see that, you know, um, Samara at first was like, oh, but she's real. I'm really happy that she did because in doing so, then she can ask those really, you know, serious questions that needed to be asked. Mm -hmm. I think that the, the three women understand that the foundation 
there is love. So yes. there are these moments of struggle, of tension, but the, the basic emotion and, and, um, inclination, what am I saying? Um, you know, we have nothing but love for each other. We're not trying to hurt each other. And I think mm-hmm. that's deeply understood. Um, mm-hmm. so sometimes things will get tough, but girl, I'm saying it because I love you and I genuinely mm-hmm. want that. But it was one of the funniest scenes for me, just because of of uh, what she was oh. saying, what she was what she was uh, looking and searching for. She wanted to make sure that her girl was taken care of and There's wasn't being taken problem. advantage of. <laughs> <laughs> Samara, Renee, and Eva have different perspectives about life, but they help lift each other up and figure out their next steps. What are each of our favorite qualities about our character? Well, I have to be honest. Like I, and, and <laughs> of course, if I just jump in, right? Yes. <laughs> because that's so my character. Um, you know, I feel like I, what I love about my character is that she does have a lot of opinions about things. And she is, she is a mom. And she's not only a mom to her children, but she is a mom to everyone because mm-hmm. she has she has a true Capricorn spirit and a true um, because she wants to just tell you what to do because she doesn't want to see you get hurt. And it, it comes out of that yeah. in most places. Um, but also, I think that like there is a tenderness to that um, where, you know, it's just a lot of care, you know, like caring for her friends and not wanting to see them um not wanting to see them hurt, but then also there is a vulnerability and an insecurity there. And I always feel like there's like so much depth in the vulnerability of people. Cause you start seeing when someone like protests too much, you're just kind of like, what is going on there? Like, what is the truth? It like insecurity. So I think that it, it, it lends to a relatability that we all have where we're like, I love you, but like, I'm scared that if you change then that changes me or changes our relationship or changes something that I can't control. And I think that there's something really beautiful about that. And, and I think that she can love really big, but I am excited, like the idea of her journey and like looking at herself and being like, seeing the possibility through her friends and having them support her through her choices as well. I was about to say the same thing. I love Eva because She's just naturally a nurturer, um, but in doing so, sometimes she 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 neglects herself. Um, but at the same time, and oversteps. Just, yeah, <laughs> maybe <laughs> as Renee would say, maybe. <laughs> yeah. But it's because she loves you. She loves hard. There's 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 no in between with her. So and we all need that friend. Okay, we yes. all need that friend <laughs> who loves hard, tells you the truth, and may give a little too much advice. Yeah, or insight, but, but all, you know, it's it's yeah, there's absolutely. a little bit of truth in, in it, but and it's all it's all about. Um, she, it, she does it all in love, and with Renee, I gotta say, I I love Renee's ability to kind of just roll with the punches. All right, okay, um, this is where we're at, but let's make this work. We're gonna we're 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 gonna make we're gonna make this work. I love that. And what about Samara? Yeah, Samara. 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 <laughs> uh, what is your favorite uh, aspect of Samara? Um, Samara, actually, I loved that Samara, uh, and we all know, I think personally, I think we've all been in this uh, situation where um, we hold on to something for so long, um, but at the same time, we know we need to let let it go. I love, I love Samara's ability to pivot <laughs> and to be like, all right, I came here thinking this was this, I'm gonna hold on to it, but wait a minute, something else is happening. There's this, there's this beautiful shift, not only um, an inner shift, but also this career shift and the ability to kind of just work through that and 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 let go of some things. Hmm. Lovely. Thanks. <laughs> what do you yeah, think about love- Samara? Yeah. Well, <laughs> you want compliments? No. <laughs> what we love about Samara yes, is yes, Samara is so pretty. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is, you guys are really hearing our dynamic. Like this is really <laughs> truly how it was on set. Uh, th- didn't we just slipped right back into that? Um, yes, we sure did. 
No, with I think like what what my character and what I love about like Samara it, it, personally is that like I there's so much future and promise. Like she has the career I think that I always wanted in a way. Like and not that exact path, but like she stuck with her career, you know, and she and and, and with Eva, she she decided to you know, kind of become a mom and focus on that. And so she kind of lives vicariously in a way through both of these women. And Renee doesn't have kids at, the t at this moment. And so she's just like, you know, just enjoy like ha being a boss, like being like having all these things, you know, and and so she just loves their drive and can see herself in that in um, in them in a way and their drive and their passion and their ability to be really free and go with like their desires is like such a an admirable thing when you are, when you've chosen really to like be a mom and a wife and a caretaker in that way. So mm -hmm. I think that that's really important for, for my character to see and, and to like latch on to. It's interesting because Renee is, yes, a very independent person, but admires so much uh, Eva's motherhood and, you know, desires that for herself as well. Um, and I think one of the things that I love about Renee so much uh, is her appreciation of beauty and her ability to see beauty in other people, in her clients and her friends and mm -hmm. teach them so that they can see it themselves and then present that to the world. Just got uh, chills. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is so true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is so that's so beautiful. Oh my God, you're doing it too. Lindy, did you know that you do that as well? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I wish I could reach through the screen right now and just kiss both of you. I miss you. I know, same. Oh. Same. All right. I vote we all meet up in New York. <laughs> yes. Uh, Yo, oh don't God. put it past me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Before we get way, way, way off topic, <laughs> which is very easy for we us. We can. Oh, uh, yes. Okay, so South Carolina, low country, provides stunning views from the forest to the beaches. What was each of our favorite places to film? Mm. So many beautiful places down there. It's I mean, so gorgeous. It, it really is. It's the same uh, place as they filmed Forrest Gump and yeah. The Notebook. So you have some of the most beautiful scenery that ever existed in all of filmography. So, I mean, you're just kind of <laughs> surrounded. Much. Yeah, you really are surrounded by absolute beauty. Do you ladies remember the White House that we filmed yeah. to half the dinner? Oh, yeah. That I was, thinking was absolutely beautiful. I loved the trees. Um, mm -hmm. And there was something special about that house. It had great energy. I remember yes, the well, moment, right? The, mm -hmm. the owners said that there were never um, enslaved peoples on that property. They had always been paid. It was like the first property uh, to pay their workers in the entire area. And yep. it had always that way. Yeah. I loved yeah. it. I think that was my favorite. And then also The Notebook is one of my favorite uh, romance films. And uh, they filmed uh, th that, that movie in that area as well. Right. Mm. That was my favorite. What was yours, Crystal? Man, I mean, I do love the beach, but I didn't get to go. We didn't, I don't know if you guys did, but I didn't get to go to the beach much. Um, I did get to mm. take my dog one time. Um, and I think kind of living in New York City, being on the beach, I, I had a really interesting um, experience at like the Bones Beach. What was it? Is that what it was called? The, the Bone Yard? The Graveyard? Bone Yard. Get a grave, graveyard, boneyard, <laughs> something like that. Looks like bones. Okay. It's a whole bunch of trees um, that have been like overturned. And they're they're white, and it's a very kind of eerie place. Mm -hmm. And it had like such a depth. Um, and it had like at first I was really scared of it, and now I I think of it a lot in a very like I I, I go back to that place a lot when I because it's so different than any place I've ever been to seeing the tree. I don't want to say too much because I'm sure we have amazing drone shots of it. <laughs> So you're gonna have to just watch it, um, <laughs> but uh, it's really, really, really different. It's a very, um, and it, it just felt really spiritual. Being in the South and being in like certain areas, you just feel a lot of ancestry. You feel a lot of um, roots and and connectivity, and it just 
I just felt that deeply. Um, Crystal, I, that I, area. it's like nothing is really easy in the South. There, I don't feel a lot of like ease because there's so much history. Mm -hmm. Everywhere mm -hmm. feeling so much. So it's absolutely stunning and beautiful, but I'm also just like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, but yeah, a real a treat to to be in that area and to experience it. Yeah, and to be in that area with doing this particular film with these particular yeah. people with like these two legends that I've watched growing up, like you know, with you, you, Tamara and and Keisha, like having you two at the helm like of this film in this particular area of this country at this particular time it just kind of like it's very it sweeps you in when you like actually think of the magnitude of it uh mm -hmm. and and like what it, it it all can be and what it is you know and how impactful it is like and it deepens like where we were just mm -hmm. yeah well, the, the Gullah Geechee the culture is woven throughout the, the retreat from Osher uh, face painting, remember that? <laughs> to basket weaving. These best friends go through a variety of experiences to connect with their true selves without giving any spoilers. If we each had to pick a favorite scene, <laughs> what would it be? I don't know how to not spoil with this. Question. I know, right? Uh, okay, I will. I would just say without spoiling it, I loved when I was in in any scene with these girls because, <laughs> no, like from a like selfish point of view, you know, we I knew it was gonna be like because the girls just always brought it. You know what I mean? It was like the, it just cannot be bad. <laughs> uh, we're all very hard workers and we are very passionate about what we do. Um, so we wanted to make sure that we were doing our best. So I always felt protected um, from an actor's point of view. Um, that's half the battle, more than half the battle. When you are working with other actors and actresses who care about you know, their, their, their craft and uh, what story they're they're telling. So um, I love the beginning scenes when we were together and we were going on this trip. And uh, it was just beautiful to act in, but also just feel three women, women of color, um, getting along <laughs> and you know being there for each other. That was that was always beautiful. As Krista was saying, it's it's it's. There, there's, there's, it, this, this film is very powerful in, in, in that sense. I yeah, I liked, I, I loved when we, um, honestly, when we first see the bus. <laughs> That's, it's, the, it's, it, for me, everyone's face, it's like, <laughs> and what they've decided to do with that particular scene and how they decided to, show that I think is hilarious and I love the comedy element of it and just yeah. when we just get to be funny silly and raw and honest it's like mm -hmm. it's the best for me so that was really that was one of my favorite moments just even though we weren't saying anything we said everything with our faces <laughs> and so I think it really translates and it was really fun yeah <laughs> uh, but it was just fun good. like being being together you know yeah not that I don't love y'all <laughs> But wow. what are you going to say, Lindsay? She's going to be like, those moments when I was by myself. No. <laughs> yeah. Moments where I was like alone in my hotel room. And I was like, whew, thank goodness. No. <laughs> I had a really lovely moment, a scene with um, Brianna Reed, who plays Kareem's daughter. Gosh, I hope I can yeah. say all Yeah. Things. But um, there was just a really, really sweet moment between Renee and this oh, lovely no. girl. Mm -hmm. But uh, so, and I don't want to spoil too much about it, but there, it was a really, really heartfelt scene. And then Crystal, um, Eva comes into that. And I think it was a, it's a, it's a beautifully shot as well. So I think people are going to love that. Hopefully. <laughs> Lovely. Eight. Okay. 
our characters managed to sneak away for a little fun with a shopping trip on the other side of the island. Can we share some fun behind the scenes stories? Hmm. Oh, uh, we bought everything in yeah. real life. Right. No, that's the best story, in my opinion. We ended up, so we did have actual like vendors come and be a part of set. And we we thought at first that they were just set pieces. And then they're like, no, this is really my like bake shop. This is really my skincare line. And we were like, what? And I spent a lot of money, money that day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think we all did. Every single one of us yeah. bought things from from all of those folks. And it was really amazing to just like, it was also a keepsake, but then also like we got to support the local artisans and um, and we actually got to do what we were doing in the script, which is shop, 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 which is one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> <laughs> I loved that moment. It was so beautiful. I bought such a lovely, um, authentic, you know, uh, Charleston basket. Do you remember the baskets? That uh, And I have actually a gift from that show. I'm going to visit my mom soon in the Yukon that I've lugged with me every single place I've been since this shoot that I finally get to bring. Wow, yay. Yeah, excited for that. I would have to agree. There were some some awesome things that that were there. And uh, I love that they were organic and, you know, they were... They were from, from the community, and it felt great to support um, them as well. So I still have my lotion, and it's really good. <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, the, the lotions, the bath butters, the yes. – oh, I, I think we all – we ate all of those apple crisps or whatever. I don't know what they were, but um, I'm vegan, yes, and I was not was vegan so that good. day. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, I couldn't help it. So obviously it is very clear that we had fun times playing these girlfriends because we are girlfriends, okay? What was it like getting to work with our incredible director, Keisha Knight Pullman, and the rest of our amazing cast like Brad James? Oh, Brad. <laughs> Brad. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, this has been a full circle moment for me. The reason why I started acting is because of Keisha. I was a huge fan of uh, the Cosby show. I loved Rudy. I would watch her every week. Um, I watched a lot of the things that she did after that. Polly was like one of my favorite films ever. And uh, so to have her direct us in this film was my country accent came out film. Yeah, uh, really, it uh, really did. Film. It sure did, didn't it? <laughs> it was It was amazing. And she was, she's probably one of the most positive human beings I have ever met, meaning that she will take a certain situation that any normal person would probably freak out at, and she would just be like, okay, y'all remember this? All right. Mm -hmm. We're just going to move on. We're going to have to cut all of these lines, but we're going to make this this work. (laughs) beautiful job everybody and it, and it i fell in love with her so much that all i wanted to do was please keisha <laughs> i forgot about you know like okay tamara you know like you know kill it rock it you know for yourself for your career it was like uh uh-uh. uh i just wanted to make her happy i wanted i wanted to make her her proud because i knew how much this film meant to her the story meant to her and she is an amazing amazing director she just gets it she knows exactly what to say she wasn't she's an actress so she's an actress director as we say um she knew exactly how to get you to to get what she wanted in a very smooth uh and and kind way yeah i definitely and think Brad, that he was, all- awesome. oh. he was so easy going that that it was just like really dude do you ever get upset do you ever like just <laughs> smooth smooth as butter throughout the entire throughout the entire film right just delightful human being, mm-hmm. both mm-hmm. so lovely to work with, and like <clears throat> I don't know, Keisha's vibe trickles down, right? I felt like we were a family by the end of this shoot, and uh, it was really special. I just want to add also that I think because, like, what Tamara said, like Keisha has so much, so many credits. <laughs> you know, she knows, you know, how to write a ship and how to captain it, and so it was just kind of like. 
this means so much to her. She poured so much of herself into this and so much, she had so much passion for the project that yeah, you did, you felt that. And you also mm -hmm. felt that she really wanted and wants it to be a success. And like, you did have this, like, we got to make her proud by, yeah. you know, <laughs> absolutely. Especially when you're working with your, your, um, your inspirations and your, and people who, who have like, you know, championed the road for you to even exist as an actor. Um, it, it, there is a higher sense of like, you know, wanting to um, please, but also mm -hmm. wanting to create something that they also feel really proud about as well. 100%. Um, okay, at the retreat, our characters are each tasked with sharing an object that best represents who they intended to be. <clears throat> what would we each choose as our object? That's a good mm -hmm. question, man. Wow, that is that's an intense question. It really is. <gasps> what? Does anybody know? Did you I think I would choose um a book. A book. Just any Why book? <laughs> any... <laughs> so I love I love, love, love to read. I love story. I love imagination i love going in side you know myself like in my own mind and but then i also love telling stories as an actor i've been writing a ton as well and so i think mm. a book kind of maybe can encompass all of that you know oh, i love that me too crystal do you know yet <laughs> <laughs> you just threw me out under the bus huh no um, i i I don't know. I, I was like, I was, all I was thinking about was just plugging your book. <laughs> the whole oh, thing. I was like, I was like, well, Mara just made herself into a book. But that's what friends do. You just can't help. You're like, I need to promote. Um, uh, yeah. I, let's see. I think, mm, I would, uh, an instrument, I think piano, even though like I'm mm. not great at playing the piano. Um, I, I, I love what you said about the book, but um, because it's like something you pour yourself into and you can investigate. And I feel like my life has always been centered a bit around music. And so I feel like a piano is always like a place where I can sit and be calmed and frustrated at the same time. Cause I'm like, why aren't I better? Um, but also it just, it, music eases me and music like sends me and it's such an emotional connective tissue for me for storytelling mm -hmm. and how I, what I've built my life around. So I think like a good, a, a guitar or a piano would really feel like two things that really symbolize what, what I am, what I want to be and like where my happy place is in music. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, Crystal. Oh, thanks, guys. I didn't rehearse it. It just came to me. <laughs> so it must be somewhat honest. I promise. Yes. <laughs> Your um, turn. I think I you just buying yourself time. You just you, bought, you only complimented me to buy yourself time. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I knew you had something amazing to say. <laughs> you're buying time now. Come on. <laughs> no, actually, yeah, your answer inspired mine. Well, Which is inspired mine, so. Oh. Okay. Um, I would say a microphone. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. A microphone for two reasons. One, you ladies know I love to sing. Um, I've never truly went down that path. Um, at a very young age, I had to choose. I was in a group called Voices um, and it was very short lived, <laughs> but uh, I enjoyed it. I still love singing around the house and I sang in a couple of things that in I- In the makeup and hair room. Yes, <laughs> and, I, and I begged Crystal. I, I mean, I would beg her I every day. <laughs> I saw you once, Crystal. I didn't sing one of our little actresses it was so beautiful she was wrapped yes she has an amazing voice and all i wanted to do was harmonize with crystal joy brown that's all i wanted to do <laughs> uh and she did she let me she let me do it once and I, I will never i will never forget that uh but then also because i was a talk show host and um 
I realize I have this platform that is very important for women of color um, to speak up, to speak um, and use my voice to encourage, to inspire, um, and uh, most important to, you know, continue to, you know, fight <laughs> for for us, you know, in this in this business, whether it is, you know, equal pay, um, you know, continue to get these amazing roles uh, where we can be seen and and heard. So those are beautiful. Oh, yeah. Ladies. That was oh, a great, you know, oh. what? that was a great answer too. Yeah. Well, thank you, Crystal. You're welcome. Thank you very much. All right. So to wrap up this live chat, ladies, we have yes. a rapid fire game of this or that inspired by girlfriendship and fall into love. We each can pick the option we like best. Okay. So here's the first one. Spend an afternoon painting or cooking? Cooking. 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 <laughs> yeah, I can't paint. I get frustrated. Okay, rapid fire. Okay. Shop for new clothes or go thrifting? Thrifting. New clothes. New clothes. <laughs> Sorry, Lindy. Okay. <laughs> on the beach or through an orchard? Is it is it harvest time? <laughs> no, you can't. Just click. <laughs> okay. All right. It's whatever then. you want it to be, Lindy. Whatever you want it to be. Walk on the beach or through an orchard? I'm, I'm going to say orchard just because I don't do that. <laughs> I, want, I should do that. Lindy, what do you say? Beach. Beach. Oh, that's a hard one. I'm going to say orchard um, because there's just something about, you know, seeing fruits and, you know, uh, life, you know, kind of happen. Uh, life, you know what I mean? Food. Yeah, life uh, happen. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, ooh, sip on iced coffee or a pumpkin spice latte? I'm going to be really basic and say pumpkin spice latte, 1,000%. It's the end of August and I'm like, uh, can I please get a pumpkin spiced everything? <laughs> Let me be here and all I want is for it to be a pumpkin spice latte. Like, that's right? Just... Um, okay, travel by bus or by boat? Uh, what? Is this a question? <laughs> Yes, travel by bus or by boat. Crystal's like, where's my okay, uh, yacht? No, boat. Boat. <laughs> Eva would say a, a yacht. A yacht. Yeah. <laughs> she would. So, what about you guys? A boat is a yacht. So, <laughs> boat. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to say bus because okay, I, I knew it. Across the country. <laughs> And I've done it before, and you meet some wacky characters. Let's go with bus. That is such a Lindy answer. Yeah, that is the most <laughs> Lindy. Yeah, of course she would say bus. Oh, that's why I love that girl. Okay. Uh, Wait, did you say? Did you say? I, I'm with you, Crystal. Oh, of course. The, the boat is going to You're be sane. A Got it. Continue. <laughs> okay. I, we're Do doing it. Do someone's what? hair or get your hair done or did. <laughs> Get your hair done. Oof. Hair done. I do like to grease a scalp. You know, when you sit and you're, you're look, I know it's old school. You didn't know. You could have done that. Like, I know. Me day. and one of my best friends, like, my, we just do this. We sit and my, Salita Ebanks, I'll sit in between her knees and she'll just be like oiling my scalp and we'll be catching oh. up. And we're a little too old for this. <laughs> oh. but we love it when we see each other it's just like so cozy and comforting so yeah I love that I love I love yeah. that Crystal I wish and you I, had done uh, that that would yeah. be great <laughs> next and time do you, do you scratch it too of course you it? well you gotta scratch it first yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course oh I'm gonna say get my hair did yeah uh, yes oh oh this is a very good good one Vacation at a resort or somewhere off the grid? Can I answer for you guys? Can I see what you're yeah, saying? Can I answer for you guys? For you? I, yeah, we should all answer for each other. Okay. Okay. Lindy, go ahead. Okay. Um, Crystal, I'm going to say, actually, I'm going to say resort for both of you guys, but I'm wondering now if I'm wrong. I'm going to go with that. You're wrong. You're wrong, Lindy. You're wrong. wrong. Lindy. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you are wrong. I want to go off the grid. Yeah. Yeah, same. Wait, 
Wait, you know what? You're right, Lindy. I changed my mind because going <laughs> off the grid. <laughs> I don't think Wait, you know what off the grid is. Yeah, I, I need room service. Like Tulum, right? <laughs> right. Off the grid is no internet, no, right? Wait, no, wait. Off the grid means no internet? Yeah, what yeah. does off the grid mean? Off the grid sounds nice, right? Then it, then it got real. So I'm going to say you were right, Lindy. You were right, Lindy. <laughs> Lindy, I think you're off the grid. grid. Lindy's off the grid. She's off the grid. Off the grid. Yeah, the grid. that's yeah. hands down easy. <laughs> oh my off gosh, the Lindy, so we're done. That's, that's it. That's, that's the it. thing. That was so much fun. Wait, oh, there's a little, there's a little oh, rap thing that we have to Imagine see. all of this on screen. Oh, I know. And amazing thank you so much for joining us and we cannot wait for you guys to watch our new movie girlfriendship it was so much fun filming it and i just can't wait for you guys to see it yeah tune in on saturday october 1st at 8 7 central on hallmark channel and while you're at it tweet along while you're watching hashtag girlfriendship use it and join us girlfriendship Go for a Yay! <laughs>